In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a low-level byte-by-byte copy of a drive. This is oftentimes the first step in a forensics investigation where you've now obtained media from, say, a criminal, and before analyzing it, you want to make a copy of it so that you can analyze the copy instead of potentially messing up the original. Um, so what I'm going to do today is make a copy of a very small 128 megabyte flash drive. And again, the process though would be the same if you wanted to make a copy of a hard drive or anything like that. So since I'm using a virtual machine, the first thing we need to do is connect the, vir the uh, flash drive to my virtual machine. Now this is the same thing as that what happens when, say, you plug a flash drive into your Windows computer um, and it pops up as the G drive. This is called mounting the, mounting the device in your system. So before you can use a device, it obviously has to have some means of accessing it. So if in Windows, like I plug in my flash drive and it'll pop up as the G drive if I now wanted to access if I wanted to access the contents of the drive, I would specify it as G colon slash, etc. And here you can just see the files that are on my flash drive. I put that on for um, specifically for this for today's tutorial. Um, for mounting mounting devices, the corresponding thing in Linux is the slash dev directory. When you plug in a device into your computer uh, into a Linux machine, it'll generally mount it in the slash dev directory. That's slash dev. Um, each device in that directory is mounted as a file called SD something. The first one will be the first mounted device will be SDA, the second one SDB, etc. So again, corresponding thing in Windows. If say I have a C drive, a D drive, and an E drive, in um, in Linux it would be slash dev slash SDA and slash SDB and slash SDC. Um, the other thing we should mention here is that. If my drive that I that I mounted has multiple partitions, so say I put in an entire disk, which is split into three different partitions um, with three different file systems, then each partition will be will be um, referred to by the file, whatever the drive is. So SDA, for example, followed by a number: first partition, second partition, third partition. So the first step we need to do now that we plugged in our flash drive is find out where it is, where it was attached to our to our system here. So we can do that simply by using the D message command, which will show us recent system messages. And if we type that in, we'll see that we have a Memorex travel, travel drive here, which we attached. And you can see that it was attached as SDB. Like I said, that's the second drive. Uh, you can also see down here, we have SDB1 indicating that we have one partition there, which is called SDB1. So now that we know that, we can make a copy of this drive using dd. dd is a command which basically just makes a low-level byte-by-byte copy. Um, copies data from an input file to an output file. And it's installed by default on pretty much all Unix distributions. We're going to have to run this command as root. And then we're going to write dd, and all it needs is an input file, which again, we're going to have slash dev slash sdb. That'll copy the entire drive, not just the partition, uh, which contains our data. And the output file we're going to use is we'll copy it to our desktop. So we'll call it desktop slash um, copy of drive. And we'll run that, and you'll see it's executing. This will take a little bit of time because it's 128 megabytes. Um, and again, we should mention that well, I'm going to do this twice uh, with a different command. I'll do it with a different command the second time. But here we're copying the entire drive. So this is copying from beginning of the flash drive to the end. Um, so it's getting the partition that contains our data and everything else on there. So any information about the flash drive itself it's getting as well. And as you can see, it finished here. And you see that it was 128 megabytes. It copied 129. Um, it's pretty close. So basically it got the whole thing. And it took 16 seconds. And you can see that on our desktop we now have a copy of drive. Um, what I also want to show you is the DC3DD command. DC3 command, which is not installed by default on all distributions, is basically the forensics version of DD. So like DD will make a copy, a byte by byte copy of a drive, so will DC3DD. However, DC3DD adds some added functionality for forensics purposes. One of the, what we're gonna use is its hashing functionality, where it'll compute a hash of a, um, of whatever it copies. So a hash is basically, what a hash does is, it takes a variable length input, so you can give it really any file or any drive, and it creates a fixed length output code for that, which a uh, fixed length unique output code for that drive. 
Um, this is useful to say we want to prove that two things are identical because if the hash is good, then the um, then the output code for two identical things will be identical. So this will make a little more sense when I show you the output. But basically, we're going to run DC3DD again with the input file slash dev slash sdb. Here we're going to use, we're only going to copy the partition. We're not going to copy the entire drive, just the partition containing our data. Um, and we'll save the output again on the desktop. We'll call it copy of drive DC3DD. And here we're going to specify that we want it to make to take a hash of the input as well. Um, and you can see it's executed. Um, SHA-256 is a hash function that creates a 256-bit hash, which basically means it's 250, it's a 256-bit code, which represents, um, which is a unique code for the exact data on this, in this file. Um, and this is the hash for the input file. So you see that here we have a unique code um, for this input file. So if we were to go ahead and we want to prove that our output, the copy is identical, we can compute the um, the the hash, the SHA-256 hash of the output, and and if they're identical, this hash should be exactly the same. And you can see that they are. These two are identical. Um, for comparison purposes, if I were to take a hash of a different file, um, so let's, you know what, for example, we'll just take a hash of the um, the copy of the entire drive we made, which was the exact, um, the entire drive, not just the partition. So if we take the hash of that, um, you can see that it'll be different and very different, really, if you look at it, than our than the hash we obtained before. So you see that you have a unique code which identifies this exact data. So if we want to take this to court, we can say that our copy is exactly the same as the original file, as uh, the original drive or the original partition. So now that we've made a copy of this, we can analyze it. So one way to analyze this would be simply to mount this this copy, this partition on this Linux machine so we can see what was actually on it. So just like we plugged in the flash drive before, um, our computer popped up with the contents of the flash drive. So if we mount this partition on our computer, we can see the contents of this partition. Theoretically, we could also, um, we could also use the original copy of the entire drive to mount the partition around, but it's a little more complicated. Um, there are specific tools that will do that. In our case, though, we're going to mount the partition to do that, we use the uh, mount command, M spelled mount. Um, the first thing we need to do, well, first of all, I'm going to actually detach the um, travel drive from my computer here so that you can see that obviously the results are from the copy and not from the original device, not from the original flash drive. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is, like before, we need a location where it'll be mounted. So since we're mounting it ourselves, we're going to mount it in the slash media directory. And you can see right now that directory is empty. We're going to create a, um, we have to first create a directory to mount it inside of. So we'll create a directory called forensics. Um, and now you can see that in the media directory, there is a directory called forensics. What we're now going to do is mount our partition as the forensics um, directory in there. So that if we wanted to refer to it, we could refer to this partition as slash media slash forensics. Um, so we're going to use the mount command and I'm going to give you the, I'm just going to show you the command I'm going to use and then at the end I'll explain to you a little bit about how you can find out more information about these commands. So the mount command, you need to specify the type of the file system on this partition. So since we're using this, par this partition from our flash drive, the file system is going to be fat um, and that's specified for mount as vfat, we'll then have to specify um, what we want to, what, what, um, what, what file we want to mount. So we're going to mount this file off our desktop, copy of drive dc3dd, and then we'll specify where we want to mount it. So that'll be, um, 
since we switched directories, we now have to give it the complete path. And now where we want to mount it is we're in the media directory, so we want to mount it as forensics. So if we now mount up, and we're going to need to run this as root. So let's see about that. And you can see that now if we're, we now are still in the media directory, but if we now cd to forensics, and I probably should have shown you this before, but if we cd to forensics, you can now see that the three files that were on my flash drive originally are now, um, are now in the forensics directory. You can also see that it gave us a little shortcut to our drive on my desktop. Um, that's pretty much it. And then I guess I can show you that now if we're done looking at this device or this file, well, it's really a device, just a copy of it, and we want to unmount it, we can use the umount or versus for unmount command and we'll, oh, let's move back one directory. And we can unmount forensics and we can't because I forgot the right sudo. And you can see that it's no longer a directory here. And if we now look in the media directory, we still have forensics there, but if we now move to it, there's nothing there because it's not attached to anything. So it's now just an empty directory. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I do want to mention though that if any of these commands, um, dd, dc3dd, mount, umount, or even sudo, or any of the other ones I've used are confusing and you want to find out more information about them, you can use the man command. Uh, man stands for manual, and if you follow that by the command you want information about, it will give you the manual page for that um, command, or that tool. And pretty much that contains everything. That's all I wanted to show you today, so you now know how to make a copy of a drive so that you can analyze that copy. Um, and this will make a low-level copy, not a copy where you'll just copy the files and directories. Um, that way, if you had just copied the files and directories, you'd open a folder, control C and control V, you wouldn't get all the, all the actual bytes, you would just get what you can actually see. This way we made a low-level byte-by-byte copy, so we made an identical copy of our flash drive. Um, that's all I have for now, so thanks for watching.